Welcome back. Hello. Hi. Welcome hi. back to Wayward Son. Sorry, sorry, Val. I, I suppose to cross you. Were you no, just saying hi? I was just saying hi. Oh, dear. Hi. 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 Uh, I'm Paul. I'm the GM. Hi, I'm Stephen, and I'm playing Lahan, the half-elf monk. Hi, I'm Moa. I'm playing Lox, the gnome... Warlock! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know we were doing actions. I it just came to me. <laughs> so, when we last left uh, Lox and Lahan, you were heading south um, on the back of Charlie. Uh, the giant the tortoise. giant tortoise and a hilarious gag that dwarves oh. play on most people who want to travel south. Still don't see why it's hilarious, yeah. which is what makes it hilarious. <laughs> <but>. <laughs> and, um, yeah, you've sort of got yourself into a bit of a pickle. Mm. You're in this corridor, sort of half in a room, half in a corridor. Mm. There's some um, gnomes with crossbars in front of you, and you've just two great metal hands have tried to grab you from Fine. behind, but both missed. Okay. Right. Um, so, let's, so you, had, you had a 16. I had a 16 on my initiative. What's, what's Lee rolled? Well, it's Logs, probably. Logs. Oh no, two. Oh, Logs. You deserve to be kind for that. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, Matt. Okay, yeah, so you turn around. Oh. Behind you are the two uh, mech dwarves that you met in the corridor. Mm -hmm. And in front of you are these um, little gnomes. Ah. Um, so the um, mech dwarves have had their turn. Yep. So it is now on to. Um, so with the hands coming for Lahan, he just sort of dodges out the way and with that he rolls directly into the room and he lands at the feet of the first gnome with a crossbow and just does a punch up to that gnome to the gnome yeah okay um da, 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 da. Right, plus nine. so that is a 19 to hit to hit for 11 bludgeoning magical bludgeoning damage and then he kind of does like a cartwheel motion and goes to the second gnome with the crossbow <laughs> and then swings and punches that one in the face for <laughs> for a 27 to hit oh he goes down <laughs> oh to hit sorry to hit, I to hit that was 27 damage, right? to hit no, that no. hits that hits that's not quite lahan's damage yet um for another 11 okay um and then he continues this cartwheel motion, and as he goes, he kicks the third one in the face. He's doing a flurry of blows, by the way. This is his bonus action. Um, using a key point. Um, that one is only 14 to hit. To hit. Oh! For another 11. <laughs> Remember that time he just kept doing 11s? <laughs> yeah, the harm. Um, and then finally, onto the fourth and final gnome, he um, does another cartwheel, and then just stares at him for a second. He's like, you right, buddy? Punch. <laughs> um, for oh, 18 to hit. You do know these four gnomes had realised that you were Lox Mernig and they work for the Mernig Corporation. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> they had arrows. Well, fine, I went easy on that one. It's only six to hit. Six sun damage. Why did you attack the thing that wasn't grabbing us? They had arrows. Great. Have you ever had an have you had an arrow to the shoulder? Oops. No, but I have died. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Right. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so how far? How big is the room? So Lahan's in the room. I'm sort of still at the doorway. How far in did you come? Oh, so if they're if they're all lined, so he would he would have sort of rolled to the first one here, and he's just gone down the line, hitting okay. all of them. <laughs> Oh, he's just rolling and he's not saying what he's doing. I don't like it. Sorry, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so all these crossbows now. Ping, 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 ping. At Lahan. Ah. Two arrows hit. Ah! One of them on an at 20. Ah! So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the first one does... Uh, that is... Ele no, 10 piercing damage. Youch! Plus 7d6 poison damage. Those are some spicy, uh... Wait, 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 wait. Purity of body monk. Uh, Immune uh, uh, uh. to poison. Yeah, so not <laughs> just being poisoned. 
Not just being poisoned, it is immune to poison. Okay, well, you oh still take God. 10. You still take 10 I from take the first one. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. from the second one, you're going to take 11 plus um, 6, 18. Okay. Piss. On that one, mm-hmm. as the arrow flies, I see it, it kind of flies into Lahan's shoulder. Yeah. And it's almost like his body sort of sort of separates into smoke in that section. Let me just quickly check my inventory on this. As I said earlier, um, he's come out with some new tattoos um, that he didn't have before. Oh, wouldn't this be another reaction? Um, when you take damage, you can... Oh, this is another reaction, so I can't do that on this turn. So he takes that full 18, did you say? Yeah. Oh, jeez. He's still hefty. Yeah, he's not quite blooded, but... Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Ow. And now we're at loss. I mean, they work. They were go- They work for me. Oh. <laughs> well, so do I. <laughs> yes. So you're on the same fucking team. Oh, I can spell that out. They were the ones pointing the arrows, yes. and the arrows are currently in me. Yes, but the mystery. We don't have time for this. We literally don't have time for this. It's supposed to be six seconds. Um. Okay. So his initial action is going to be, so, um, well, actually, technically, um, I can just, because of my Armour of Shadows, um, uh, invo- Eldritch, Eldritch Invocation, um, can cast Mage Armour um, without expending a spell slot or using material components. Ooh. Thank you very much. So that's going to happen. Um, he's sort of, just, it's, it's, Almost reactionary, but not a reaction. But then whilst that's happening, the stone, the gem that was in his chest on the mention of Lily, um, which started glowing, is almost going to kind of like pulse a little bit more. And Lox is this like, start, stuff has happened with the gem before, but he's kind of like, actually recognizing what this can do and he's just kind of going to let it happen and um these vines are going to burst out of the gem and they're going to fill a sort of 10 foot circle around me and the creature the whatever grabbed him yeah, from behind yeah, yeah, yeah. needs to succeed on a deck saving throw please Ooh. Both of them. Um, yes, if they're in, if they're in the ten foot circle. Uh, so that is a uh, seventeen and a sixteen. Um, it's meat or beat, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. So they needed to get a sixty. The DC was sixteen. So they both met. They, they both. both succeed, oh, they so. both succeed. Well, I mean, he is still. He's like lifted off the ground as well. Um, so he's kind of raised up. Um. So they they're they're fine now. I don't think it's a half damage. Um, creature must succeed on a deck saving throw or take damage and be restrained. So they're not they're not going to be restrained. But a creature that starts at turn in the area um, will also they'll need to um, they'll need to re-roll um, the dexterity okay. on their go. Um, so yeah, that's going to be his kind of that's going to be his go. Um, he's now kind of raised up on these vines and he's the vines are gonna almost like carry him back away from the whatever was behind him and kind of turn him around to face whatever was looking at him okay so behind you you can see these two uh mech dwarves Mm -hmm. and they both got big metal hands which is what went to grab you and they both got uh chest cannons and swords hanging by the sides. Okay. Right. Um, so, um... Oh, um, so one question. So I cast Mage Armor, and that is obviously like a level spell, mm-hmm. not a cantrip. Um, it was using the Armor of Shadows invocation, but it, just, it still is casting a spell. All right, so you're asking, can you cast a so, bonus no, cantrip? No, 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 I'm saying I need to roll to see if I have to roll on the wild magic eldritch surge. Go for it. So, oh, it's a 15, it's fine. Just wanting to see if any more chaos might happen. <laughs> <laughs> you don't um, have enough on this team. No. 
So I kind of want it to happen. Ten's not going to hit, is it, Lily? Uh, not lost. anymore. Oh, <laughs> it's oh, so a neat or beat, isn't it? Well, no, because I've got thirteen oh, now. Oh, lovely, yeah. Um, Twenty will hit. Oh, um, yeah. Great. And that does seven fire damage. Okay. Um, and then um, he is going to pull his draw his sword. One he's gonna hit. Oh, yes. Rude. Although, so actually, um, as his with his reaction, um, he's almost gonna try. The the vines are gonna sort of get in the way, and that is him using his subvert reality. Okay. Ooh. Um, and that means that he can either he can impose either advantage on dis or disadvantage on an attack or saving throw. Okay. So he's going to kind of blur things up and make you roll at disadvantage, please. Nice. Oh, well, he failed. Fabulous! But the other one is going to attack you. But he's going to miss. Um, and that's their turn. So back to Laham. Mm-hmm. Okay. So having heard Lox after starting the chaos, um, he just turns around to the other gnomes and he just pulls out the arrows. <coughs> We good? We cool? Yeah, we're cool. Yeah, all right, all right. Um, and then flips the arrows up and holds them so sort of like the uh, tip of the arrows. So sort of Wolverine style. Kind of Wolverine style, makeshift Wolverine, and runs towards the dwarfs. Okay. So the first one he comes to, he's just gonna come in with a punch. Okay. Oh, well, how far is Lox back from them? Uh, well, no, he, so, so no he, he, no, he backed away. So he backed um, like, yeah. Sort of away from them. So they were still within um It's alright, it's alright. Come on. Um that is twenty dirty to hit. That's gonna hit. For d- 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 eight damage. And you're hitting them with the arrow, aren't you? Oh yeah! I forgot they were poisoned! Yeah. Ah! Add seven D6. Ah! I didn't even do that on purpose! I'm great! <laughs> <laughs> Started their go in um, in the vines. Although no, no you're going to be actionary. Oh no. No, no, they've got the vines. If <laughs> oh okay. With the vines, Three. that is um, a creature that starts its turn Seven. in the area. Um, oh, and is already restrained. Twenty-two. Um, Twenty-eight poison damage to this dwarf. Okay. Plus, how how much was the bludgeoning? It was Sorry. eight. Bludgeoning, yes. Eight bludgeoning, 28 poison. So 34. Bloody hell. Okay. Um, And so I kind of like feel that he kind of got him like under, like what's it called? Like like chinned him a little bit. So it's kind of that that poison now has gone into his mouth. And he's like, ah, looks like he can do with a second dose and comes in with his other fist. On the same one? (laughs) Yeah. Okay. (laughs) Um, oh, that doesn't look like it's going to do it though. That's 15 to hit. No, that's going to be so. Okay. Bonus action, I get another attack. <laughs> <laughs> just the one, just the one. Uh. Um, oh, that's not going to do it. Um, that's only 11. That's good, this as well. So he's just there, like, I get the, the dwarf's blocked him. He's just there trying to get this other poison arrow into him. Okay. Uh, and we're on to the nose. Mm-hmm. We're good, yeah? We're good, we're cool. We're cool, yeah? Uh, so the gnomes all now draw their swords and they leap onto Lux. Leap onto me? No attacking you. No, but I'm yours. I'm, 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 your, I'm your leader. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Mernig. What are you doing? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me just. I uh, thought we said we were cool. If they're leaping onto me, they're within ten foot of the vines. Yes, they're, so they're to, starting they're their turn. It. They have to roll a deck save. No, they're not starting their turn. No, but uh, so, uh, did look, if a creature um, starts its turn or enters, is it? Uh, when a creature enters the affected area for the first time. So what do they have to do? Uh, roll a deck save. Sixteen. Uh, two pass, two fail. Okay, so that is 3d6 bludgeoning. Um, nine bludgeoning damage to the ones who 
And uh, the ones who failed are also restrained by the vines. Okay. This was Paul's homebrewed thing, so... <laughs> <laughs> I've forgotten how much I can do. I need to remember that. That's good. <laughs> Oh, it's coming up, it's coming up, it? coming up. So, uh, one of them slashes at you once and misses. Two nat ones. How was that dice that was rolling really well before? Yes, you? finally! Thank you, karma. It's my boyfriend. Uh, that is a, uh, the next one though slashes at you and that is a 17 with the first attack and Ooh, a 15 with it. the second. That will do it as well. Using poison blades as well. <gasps> oh! Um, so that's going to be four piercing and seven. Uh, sorry, four piercing and then seven piercing, and then poison damage. Ten, seventeen, twenty-four, twenty-nine, thirty-four, and thirty-nine. Thirty-nine total. Poison damage. Oh my god! Hang on. I need to do some maths. I can get a calculator because I can't do maths. Uh, and that's just one of them. Fuck me. Is he going to get attacked again? There's four of them. Two of attacks. Oh my but god, I am like, many... I am so close to being down. How many are bloodied? Huh? How, but some of them are strained, aren't they, sorry? The gnomes? Two yeah, but them. they can still, they're not... Oh, they're restrained, so they yeah. can't attack. Okay. Not grappled. Okay, yeah, it's restrained. Right. I I only have sixty four hit points total, and um, and I've 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 been down fifty seven, so I don't know. I need to do sixty four minus fifty seven. To be fair, if she has restrained them ten feet, five feet away, I have then to. they can't move. So restrained so. creatures have dis a disadvantage on dexterity, attack roll against has advantage. Um, a restrained creature's speed becomes zero, and it can't benefit from any bonus to its speed. Attack rolls against the creature with advantage, the creature's attack rolls have disadvantage. So you can attack, but they're all disadvantage. Okay. And any um, attacks to those creatures are at advantage. advantage. But they're only going to attack with their crossbows. I mean, I only have seven hit points, so... Well, that is an eight, so that's going to miss. Thank God. That's an eleven. That doesn't misses. hit. So that's... Uh, and it's Lox's turn. Lox? So... Oh no, it's not the start of your turn, it's the start of their turn. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and only a finish point. And two of them are restricted. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. So, um, right. Lox is the two, so he's got two that are like on him? Yeah, so they're, they're right up next to him with their swords. Yeah. Okay. And. Then there's the two mech dwarves who are kind of in the doorway still. Yep. But you're handling those. Um, okay. He is going to. Yeah, he he's going to. He's been flicking through this notebook, and there's there's a spell he didn't know before, but he's gonna cast it. He's gonna cast vampiric, vampiric touch. Mm, it's gonna be at fifth level because <gasps> obviously that's 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 what warlocks that's do what warlocks do um so i need to make a melee spell attack against a creature within my reach so are they are they would you say they're you're within... gonna be within five foot of you yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. They're both yeah. Reach. okay cool um so um or, or remember how yeah. to say melee <laughs> <laughs> Why? It's because you is posh as fuck! D20 proficiency plus charisma as a warlock. Um, okay, 12. Uh, 16 plus 20. Yeah, yeah 20 it is. Hit. 20. Um, so that is 3d6. Who's this on? This is on oh, no, level of these. 5d6 at level 5. Oh, yeah, 5d6. Um, this is one of these gnomes, is yeah, it? Yeah, this is. Uh, this is Whatever, no, one of the gnomes. 5d6 necrotic, and you get half of it back as healing. Yeah, exactly why I'm casting <laughs> it, because I have got seven hit points. My brother had a trick just like that. <laughs> um, um, okay, that is 10, uh, 18, 19 uh, necrotic damage. And then I get- Eight healing. Um, eight healing. 
He's looking pretty bad. Um, and yeah, he's he's gonna he's kind of gonna do this and be like, please stop! <laughs> <laughs> I am one of you. Okay, do a persuasion check. Um, oh, that's good. Uh, Eighteen plus eight. Do the maths. Okay, um, yeah, and that's, uh, they are. Yeah, okay. So and it's their turn next. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, is it? I thought it's the. Oh no, we're back to the mechs. Spicy mechs. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, Unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> um, so they are going to. So they now are going to try and grab you, Lahan. All right. So does a twenty-four hit? Twenty-four hits. Okay. So and then the other one is going to try and grab you as well for twenty. Um, oh, so they both got you. Yeah. And they're now dragging you down the corridor towards um, the way out. So that that's that they're going to use their turn to drag you 30 feet. Um, mm. You can do an opposing strength check if you want to try and not be dragged by them. Strength. Strength. That's not my specialty. Um, just having a quick look. Um... Screaming, crying, throwing up. Um, yeah, let's try an opposing strength then, just to see how it goes. That's my turn, did you say? No, no, no. Oh, uh, it, no, it'll be just it'll be just to stop them dragging you. Cool. Bye. Right. Oh, five. No. They drag you thirty okay. feet down the corridor. So, so you're I, I, nearly at they're I, nearly at the window. Are they with my the shoulders? Floor. They're both basically round your waist. They're not oh. you're, you're not your arms are free. My arms are free. Arms and legs are free. They're just <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's the rules of grapple. Yeah. I prefer it to be something else, but those are the rules of grapple. Great. Right, so as they're going for the window, it's like Ah! Right! Um and um they're just kind of holding them up above, yeah. Yeah, they're sort of, yeah, they're, well, they're your, sort of your feet are on the ground, they're just dragging Do I me. still have my arrows? Um, Not important. Um, so one of them, the one that's taking the poison damage, um, the hand's just going to do smash down and sort of bop him on the head. Okay. That is 24. It hits. For seven bludgeoning damage, can I get a constitution saving throw from this... Well, Ooh. yes. I'm not going to look it up, but he rolled a four. So <laughs> Your DC was 17. Right. Um, what Lahan did when he punched you in the head, he went for a particular part of the brain and he has shut off your um, neuro movement skills. Okay. Um, you are, this is Stunning Strike, um, and you are stunned until the end of your next turn. Stunned means... Let me just pull up the conditions. Stunned is nasty. A stunned creature is incapacitated, um, cannot move, um, can only speak faultily. The creature automatically um, fails strength and dexterity saving throws. Attack rolls against the creature have advantage. Um, but you're also, with that, um, incapacitated. Um, cannot take any actions or reactions. Okay. So, this creature's just... For how brain dead um, to the end of your next turn. Right. It's proper so, shock. Yeah. And I've still got a hand free. I've still got one of these things on me. Lahan goes in to punch the other one on the noggin as well. Um, oh, that's a uh, 11, so that's not going to do it. But bonus action, I get to follow up with an attack. 24. Hits. For 10 bludgeoning damage okay. to the head. How many times when you hit with a melee weapon? When you hit with a melee weapon attack, can I get another constitution? Oh no! Well, how, that one. how many times can you do it? Just every time. Every time. No oh ways. my god! Well, he fucking is useless. I want a five. So, does the grapple still hold me at this point? Well, that's the question because they're electronic arms. I suppose if I was being an arsehole, I'd say that I'm going to be an arsehole. Yeah. It fine. just clamps. <laughs> so they are not in control of it anymore. Oh. It's yeah. as if the arm is just locked. Oh, yeah. Wake up. Wake up! Um, <laughs> oh, and no. they're just, yeah, unconscious just in the on corner. on your back. <laughs> um, and so the, uh, it's the gnomes. Is that yeah. your turn? Yes, that is so my it's the turn. the gnomes' turn. Yeah. And so they say, 
they say, uh, Mr. Malik, we, we got confused when your man attacked us, but he's clearly an idiot. Yes, yes. I have a wisdom of 20. What should we do? <laughs> We need to go and get him. He's been car- he's been carried out. We need to go and sort of go and get him back. So are you going to let the two go that you've currently? Yeah, got he's strength? gonna he's gonna relinquish them if if that's something he can do. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. gonna let them go so out, out of the. So the four of them go past you, mm-hmm. go past uh, Lahan, and with their swords just just stab, stab, stab on the um, two mech dwarfs. Oh, up! Oh, yes. Um, and yeah, they're, they're dead, very dead, and the arms let go. <laughs> and um, one of them dashes down the corridor to check nobody's seen what they've done, and they start, they throw the other two's bodies out the back of Charlie um, and into the desert. These are your people, yeah? Um, yes. Yeah, might be useful. Um, oh my god, okay. Uh, well, thank you. Thank, thanks for the help. I mean, that, you, you also you also nearly killed me. Um, again, which you can only really go through that so many times, to be honest. Um, okay. I I think he's gonna. Can he like uh, the, the 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 stone thing only last, the vines only last for a minute, so they're gonna come sort of sucking back into his so, chest. And they're they're, they're basically gonna say. We're so sorry, Mr. Mike. Please have that room. And the four of them just leap out the back of Charlie and a. a what about the Wait, money? Where's the money? <laughs> there is no money. Oh. Oh. And um, I think we'll leave that episode there, shall we? Crikey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>